Hello there again, everybody. David again from Tick Academy, Microtech and Ubiquity Certified Training Partners. This time we'll be setting up SSTP server plus SSL certificate. So as my text here says, and as the steps outline, uh, we're going to be setting up Microtech routers, uh, one, a, one as a client, one as a server, and we will add in the SSL certificates. So here we have to just reset uh, not to defaults but to blank configuration we have two routers here and uh, we will work with them i already generated some ssl certificates for my domain microticcolombia.com i have the private key the ca bundle and a certificate that we will add to our devices to both of our devices firstly let's go uh, so We'll set up IPs. I have these routers connected. Uh, this is the um, client. The client has a cable run from Ether1 to the server Ether12. So uh, here we have that. My laptop is connected through this Ether4 port. Uh, so we'll be setting up, uh, let's add in an IP address. Probably uh, you will hear uh, fast forwarding or skipping because most most of these steps uh, we will assume that you already have set up. So 192.168.100.124. I'm connected to Ether4, so apply. Okay, now we have an address on that port and um, we'll. Uh, set up the one interfaces let's do that like this with a with ppp addressing with uh, using ppp addressing so we do not use a slash 30 so here we have this this side ready and let's set up the other end Two. Okie doke. Apply OK. Let's try with the terminal. Ping the other end. This is my IP. This is the server IP. So we're good. We have one connection from the server side we are going to import the certificates Let's bring up the files just drag and drop then we need to import those certificates just uh, remember that it doesn't work just by dragging and dropping you know you need to import them this is not the right way so uh, Let's import the CA bundle. Then we import a certificate for the server and then the private key. We need all of those and this should look just like this. Now Microtech has the, the certificates imported. There, you, there we go. So now we can do the same to be on the safe side. Let's do this on the client router. Same steps, you go to system, certificates, import. Uh, this is a let's encrypt certificate. So basically uh, there wouldn't be any issue if you import the whole bundle you see LTT -T, and then we import the private key and there you have the same aspect as we have on the client so client and server look just the same this way it should look like so now we need to set up uh, okay I have IPs this is check import the SSL certificates and now we will bond to the server setup so we go into PPP, 
then click SSTP, enable the service, and down here where it said the certificate, choose the certificate. Do not choose the CA because that's uh, Let's Encrypt uh, certificate. So basically, that will not work. So uh, and check everything but MS Chap two because that's the most secure at the moment. Then you click OK. We're going to do this very simple setup. So we're going just to add a user. That's going to be test SSTP. Same password. And we're going to use that, that this one. Uh, this user will only have access to SSTP. So basically, just need to do that. Uh, as profile, let's select MicroTik's default encryption. And uh, as local address, we will use 10.1.1.1. And we'll assign the client 10.1.1.2. That's OK. So that's everything for the server part. Let's bring up the log, this log window, because that helps a lot to debug or diagnose any problem if there should be one so the same we move on to the client side let's bring up the log window just in case put this down here and then EPP but this time we will add in a an SSTP client do not do server binding, just do SSTP client. Uh, this will stay the same. We can just use 10.10.10.1, which is the remote host. A certificate, we will use the certificate, verify no. Uh, so this is test SSTP, and the password is the same thing, default encryption. Uh, the allow uh, cert, uh, encryption mechanisms. So we'll hit apply. And there you go. Link is up. Status you have the IP addresses and the VPN, the VPN using SSL certificates and SSTP server setup is ready you have uh the client is running and if we go to the server part we have a dynamic and running interface just pointing to the other side of the tunnel the caller id is the ip that is initiating the session local address and remote address as you can see they are all okay so uh if we ping the other end so that would be 10.1.1.2. Let's do that. We should have a new terminal here. Let's pop that open. 10.1.1.2. And we have a link established. And as you can see here, we have the tunnel IP address. There we have here we have on the um, client side we have another ip2 that's dynamically assigned by the uh, sstp tunnel and now we can do something else uh, we don't have on the client side we do not have a lan uh, yet but that's outside of the scope of this tutorial so basically we're going to uh, do a simple bridge setup with nothing in it we're going to add 192.168.200.0.1, um, sorry, dot 24 to that bridge. And we can just throw some routes and make the LANs see each other. So uh, server side LAN is 192.168.100.0 slash 24. And for the gateway, we could either use the IP that the tunnel is giving us, or as an exception, 
we can use the SSTP out one interface. So we create this static route. And on the server side, we also want to throw in a route to be able to reach the client's LAN private network. So 192.168.200.0 slash 24, the gateway will also V the SSTP interface. We can do um, check gateway to verify that the gateway is uh, reachable or the gateways, gateways reachability. And as you see, it's reachable. Now we do OK. We have the route. Everything seems to be fine. So basically, uh, we should be ready to go. So ping. 192.168.1, uh, what was that? 200.1, and there you go. Routing is working from the server to the client LAN, and on the other end, the client side, 192.168.100.1, and there you have it. Voila, as the French would say. There is the tunnel, SSTP tunnel, using SSL encryption. So SSL, SSTP is a secure uh, protocol for VPN. And adding the SSL certificate would give us a lot more uh, security because all of the communication between server and client will be protected by the SSL encryption using the certificate. So. Uh, here you have, uh, I added routing, so routing from LAN to LAN. So we created a LAN to LAN uh, VPN and we just set up SSL. This is the basic, the quickest way you can get SSTP plus SSL certificate VPN up and running, Microtik to Microtik. You can also do Windows or uh, well, Windows is the only one that I have used. So you can do Windows SSTP client to that uh, same VPN. So probably we'll do another video for that. But I think that's about it. David signing off. TIC Academy is your Ubiquity and Microtik Certification Academy. Just reach us at www.ticacademy.com or our WhatsApp line, our social media, WhatsApp is plus five seven three one two seven seven zero four one two two. Bye bye everyone. Thank you.